spoke in that elaborately choice French in which our forefathers not only spoke but thought, and with those slow, patronizing intonations peculiar to a man of importance who has grown old in court society. He went up to Anna Pavlovna, kissed her hand, presenting her with a... I wonder when my sweet babu is going to ask me to the party. I am not your sweet babu! And I wouldn't invite you to a garage sale! Isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> Rerun, you must be doing something wrong. Balloons are supposed to be round, not square. You must be blowing air into the wrong places. Here, try it again. You blow up a balloon this way. Okay, now let's see you do it. Try blowing slower. Now you're getting it. Here, I've got another type balloon. Watch. Now you try it. Well, are you taking me to the party or not? Musicians don't dance. Anyway, I'll be playing the piano at the party. I don't mind the rejection. It's the smile that bugs me. If you don't ask me to the party, I'll just go with someone else. Good. Go with someone else. Anna Pavlovna's drawing room gradually began to fill. The people of the highest distinction in Petersburg were there. People very different in ages and characters. Hello? Hiya, Chuck. This is Peppermint Patty. You thought any more about who you're inviting to the party, Chuck? No, I haven't thought about that. I'm reading War and Peace. Aha! I knew it would be me. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm only on page five of my book. Come on, Chuck. Remember, you have to invite somebody. Well, I suppose you're right. I wonder if that little red-haired girl would go with me. What? Do you think she would? So long forever, 